Fly your fair nation. Fly your fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is powered by Fly Fair Nation and recorded at the Fan Production House. Long time no talk. <laughs> Firstly, I want to say sorry to those that have been looking forward to an episode and haven't been receiving it. I apologize. Life has been happening. Things been going on as usual. But, um, you know, me and Twin have like a really like back and forth schedule her schedule has gotten more hectic so you know time for us to link up to do the episodes is kind of like eh. we're gonna do better though don't worry I'm here by myself tonight um I just wanted to run through a bunch of current events things really quick um some of them not even current anymore because at the time that I wrote them it was supposed to be like the next episode which was like a few weeks old but y'all gonna let me live <laughs> Uh, I want to say though like thank you to those who have like reached out to me and stuff like y'all never cease to amaze me with like reaching out and like checking on me and like seeing if I'm okay or being like nigga where the episode's at y'all don't understand that shit actually means something to me like somebody actually called me that I haven't talked to in a real long time that I didn't even know listen to the show shout out to Zilla he also has a podcast FGO fuck going out for the homebodies and such but he was like um I ain't nothing about pointless talks in a minute. What's up? And I was like, um, one, I didn't know you listened or that you even are aware that I be posted or that I've been gone. But that was like the first thing that was just like, oops. And then like a couple of other people have like hit me up and I was like, oh shit. Um, one thing that really got me choked up was on Saturday, thanks to Suelle from J Flag. They were here for Caribbean Pride in Fort Lauderdale, which if it wasn't for her, I did not know what's happening. I went out there and I was like, you know, let me step out of my shell and pass out some stickers or, you know, promote the podcast, even though I ain't post nothing (laughs) in a minute. But they got 50 episodes to catch up on. So whatever. Let me go out there and promote whatever, whatever. And somebody I I like gave my thing to was like, oh, I follow you already. And I was like, "Ah." like dead ass no lie I, I wanted to cry <laughs> like I really did that shit made me just be like oh shit I need to tighten up like I need to put out a fucking episode but um yeah that shout out to that person I'm listen I'm so antisocial and so like scary when it comes to people like I sh- like in my head I was like yo you should have asked this person's name you should have taken a picture with this person and posted them like you know hey whatever whatever you should have done so many things in that instant and instead I was just like oh thank you and walked away like all fast like I am such like a horrible person when it comes to socializing with strangers maybe one day it will get better I don't know but I was just like whatever I brought like as no lie probably like 50 stickers with me and I probably gave out five because I was just like I don't know anyone duh you're not supposed to know the people that you're giving the stickers to but it was I'm a wreck it was fun though like Caribbean pride like it was like uh I didn't catch the whole thing I got there late because I got off work at like three something and I think it started at two and ended at eight I thought it ended at like 10 I don't know why but when I looked at the flyer again I saw it was eight and I was like shit so like I hauled ass I didn't get there till like after six I was only there for an hour but I got there just in time for Amara Amara La Negra. I always feel like I get tongue-tied when I say her name. Amara La Negra. Yeah, she was on stage and, you know, cutting it up. When I got there, they were doing a dance contest. And I was like, oh, <laughs> just in time. But um, it was fun, you know. They showed out. It was great. The babies were there. There were some kids there. And I was like, shout out to y'all for bringing y'all children out here. First of all, I always say this, like, white people they bring their kids anywhere you see white kids in the middle of the casino if they allow them to be there like hard rock i used to be a hard rock like two or three o'clock in the morning people be pushing their fucking babies in a stroller in hard rock like you'd be on south beach people be out there with their fucking three-year-olds walking on south beach at two o'clock in the morning like white people be having their kids all types i think i went to a party one time at winwood yard and people had their children hanging out fucking you know what I'm saying jamaicans then took over the place and <laughs> y'all out here playing ring around the fucking rosy on the fake grass in the middle of the um fucking dance floor and i'm just like y'all don't think it's past these kids bedtime like y'all okay but that also makes me just be like damn dog like 
white parents like allow their kids so much like exposure and freedom whereas like i know that a lot of black people aren't open to exposing their kids to so much for whatever the reason is protection ignorance whatever the case is and seeing so many like caribbean people of color out there with their children like i saw quite a few like kids out there that were probably like they were all under 14 like all of them and I was just like, yes, you teach them, like, even if you're gay or you're not gay, whatever the case is, whatever the instance is why you're here, all these rainbow flags are here. They're, like, celebrating pride and culture and all of that. And I was just like, this is great. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gave <laughs> one of the moms, I'm assuming this was a mom. I don't know if it was an aunt, a grandma, a sister, cousin, friend, guardian, whatever the case is, um, one of the stickers. And I was just like, you know, check it out because... You never know, like, whether the kid might be, exp- like, ex- showing signs or, like, said something about being curious or bi or homosexual, whatever the case is. Like, I brought someone's little sister with me, and I just brought her because she was sitting in the house. And I was like, nigga, get your ass up. Let's go. We we go into this so you can get out the house and from in front of the computer. You go get some sun, right? And I'm just like, all right, bet. That could have been the reason why they got there. It might have not had nothing to do with sexuality or anything of the case. So regardless of what it is, like, I feel like teaching children while they're younger, like, this is another option. Not even, like, another option, but this is something that you may not see on a regular basis. This is, it's happening. There's nothing weird about it. It's okay. These people are living their lives just like everyone else. They are out here having fun You know, like, I think that is very important because whether this child may be, you know, curious or questioning or not sure or (laughs) already know that they're gay or whatever the hell it is, like, letting them see that you are open to this and are willing to have them exposed to this is a big thing and also even if they're not it's also a big thing because now if they meet someone who is they'll know not to treat them like they have an issue like like something is wrong with them you know what i'm saying like they won't treat them like ew you're gay or like try to bully them because they're gay or bi or trans like they won't come at them from an ignorant standpoint you get me so that's why that was a big thing for me that was that was amazing she wanted to take a picture with one of the guys that was in masquerade and that was one of the things i was like yes because they had guys there in like full masquerade like their carnival costumes headdress feathers glitter the whole, whole shebang and and she pointed him she's like oh i want to take a picture with him i was like all right cool and i was about to like send her over to go take a picture with him and i was like wait a minute i know this guy <laughs> so that was really cool i saw some people from team dutty were out there also and you know it was it was a good time i didn't go talk to any of them because I, like i said i'm socially awkward and if i don't know you i like on a personal level i'm gonna just be in a corner like hmm maybe (laughs) but um yeah it was a really good thing some random things that I saw oh what was I gonna say I need to figure out like where else they have Caribbean pride because I know they have like pride in I think every state (laughs) um I know South Florida has like a million prides because they have Miami pride and they have Fort Lauderdale Caribbean pride they have like a bunch of different prides but I'm wondering where else they have Caribbean pride um i haven't talked about it in a while but i'm still hoping that it happens because chutney pride in new york i know that's a thing so i don't know if that's gonna be something that's here like all the time or if that i haven't even gotten a chance to look into it like that but that was just like that was great for me that was amazing you know seeing all the flags and everything but yeah like i always say visibility is vital because if you don't see it, you don't know that it's out there. You don't know that it's okay for this to be happening. So there's that. I'm going to jump into a little bit of mix-up real quick, though. Um, the other day, <laughs> everybody was going crazy because Beanie Man commented on D'Angel, um Instagram or whatever page it was because she posted something about she's trying to get started um, with her music or something like that and beating man to keep shining i'm like y'all really took that and ran with it like come on now and i saw her performing at um what was that award show spice got awarded um big up spice grace emma Tan. yes goody <laughs> um she got awarded at i think what is it 
I R W M A. Let me let me find it really quick. I'm horrible. I know I should have wrote this down. Judge thy mother. Don't judge me. Um, what is this? What is say? Oh, Pempite launched a single mother foundation. Spice also has her own foundation, which not too many people know about. But Pampate got her a nice little um, foundation, and it looked like Spice gave her a check for fifty thousand dollars. That's amazing, yo! Spice is the best. Like I don't care what anyone wants to say, but yeah, it was the thirty seventh annual I R W M A Awards. Yeah, I R A W M A Awards. Yes, um, she performed <laughs> Black Hypocrisy. And I'm horrible because the whole time she was on stage performing, I'm sitting here dying because her dancers in the background look all nice and elegant and don't know how to behave. Like, look, they look like they didn't want that show because she was singing Black Hypocrisy because, I mean, that would be the song to sing at that. Big up to Coffee and everybody else that was there, everybody that got awarded, all of that stuff. But Spice got Best Female DJ slash Rapper and you know the ladies were out they looked great they looked nice they had on heels rebel said gracie are the only one with my wear heels so big up to spice um and everybody else that was involved to make it a good night i want to talk about <laughs> domo's bisexual anthem but I, I want twins input on that before i go um and say anything it's it's at this point it's old if you haven't heard it yet go check it out i guess um (laughs) yeah if you haven't heard it by now i don't know what rock you've been hiding under if you're part of the lgbtq community especially if you identify as bisexual if you haven't heard it yet go check it out it's the bisexual anthem according to domo wilson random thing that i thought was hilarious the other day i saw an article that steph curry threw his wife um aisha a jamaican themed party for her birthday because she's of jamaican descent right and it's funny because i didn't come in to talk about this but then shortly thereafter there was all this uproar about her interview with jada and them on the red table talk and how she wants to be hollered at or whatever the fuck like girl I saw another article. I'm just breezing through these things, like things I'm just bringing to you guys' attention. There's a law in North Carolina that states that men legally <sighs> men are legally allowed to finish sex even if the woman revokes consent. So, it says North Carolina is the one state where the law explicitly says you cannot revoke consent once it's given. A bill that would remove this unacceptable loophole has little traction. So they're trying to get rid of it, but it's not really moving. And I could understand why, because niggas, men, like, <sighs> disgusting. So what this basically means is if you decide that you want to start humping somebody, right? And something happens. And you decide that you no longer want to have sex with this person. Like, you are no longer interested. You're not feeling a vibe. It's no longer something that you are interested in participating in. In North Carolina, you are not able to call rape on this. Like, you can't tell him no after this. Once you've already given consent, it cannot be taken back. So, he is legally allowed to finish. Now, one, what? the fuck like do y'all have mothers sisters daughters like aunts like a soul morals anything like you know i'm looking nothing about to know what do you mean if i want my sister don't want to do it no more way pum pum there road a dash way my guy like pum pum there road a bumba clot dash way gotta give it a pum pum you know what i'm saying you can't get it for free you can't get it for peer like pum pum there road and you mean for tell me sir you want it so bad, so even when the girl says she don't want it, you still are going to, like, what? Like, that's why I can't understand rape, you know? I cannot understand rape, because how you put yourself in a position where you there with somebody, where you, you want them, but them, them, yo, me have shame. Me have shame. My shame tree did it, and it's fruitful. Me, me, no. I don't have no, look, me, me, <laughs> You can't have no pride in yourself if you feel like say it's okay if you go rape somebody. No man. Like you pick up in yourself, you go like forcibly have sex with somebody. You did they try to take off them clothes and them are fight and them I said no one. You still are gonna do it? I was my yo, me not care what nobody said. Don't tell me no if me I try to take off your panty. Now me stop, full stop, me still don't put my hand in my lap. You, nobody not gonna rape on me. 
But the man said, black and delete, I'm not even going to go so far. Yo, we good. You know what I mean? Yo, I'm not beg, not buy, not buy. <laughs> I said, not beg, not buy, not buy. So, yo, I am not, I'm me not rape nobody. And you can't say woman can't rape woman. Because that is the biggest lie. Woman can't rape woman. You can't put your mouth upon somebody where don't want your mouth upon them. You can't fingers. Yeah, enough things you can't do to woman. Where, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> dog. I hate people. <laughs> like, I hate people. Like, I saw this article and I was like, yo, I don't care how old this shit is at this point. This has to get out there. Like, if you don't know this, 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 that is disgusting. That is disgusting. And then what makes it so bad? I mean, I work one day, right? I feel like, I feel like I told this story before. I don't know if I told it, but, um, there was this old man that came in. He was just overly friendly. Now, me personally, I understand that when you come from certain places, like, especially if you're from the South, like, if you're in, like, certain places like Georgia, Alabama, like, them areas in the South where, like, you know, whatever, manners are a thing, right? Manners are a thing. Sometimes old people, when they give you manners, they, I mean, when they have manners and they give you respect and shit, sometimes it might come off like they're flirting, right sometimes it might come off because they call you baby and you know they might touch a shoulder or whatever i am very big on personal space me like as i can say i think it's part of the whole you know crab in a shell type of thing like a hermit something like i'm gonna like people too much in my space much less fear touch me if men don't know you like back up <laughs> like even when i'm at a party like i'm horrible i, th- I talked about that before like men don't like people too you know like you knowingly in my space and you just imposing upon my space like men are really too like that so the man come in and the man you know he 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 whatever whatever and he said something he was like poking fun at the whole me too thing basically he was like you know you can't hey i can't call you baby anymore you know you might think that that's and i was just like it was funny at first when he started it, you know, cute, whatever. All right, old man, go about your business. But then he started, you know, nowadays you can't do anything. And I'm like, sir, what are you trying to do? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't understand this blurred line between respect and flirting with older men and younger women. Because you don't talk to young men like that. You don't. You know what I'm saying? Older women, I see them and they do it and they do it to everybody. Man, woman, child everybody can get it men though that that energy is only directed towards young women you know what i'm saying or a woman that you might find attractive or even if it's like an old it's only directed to women period point blank older younger whatever right and that's a part of it that bothers me now if you was out here calling young men handsome and doing all of that then hey by all means but my issue comes in where you start to then try to make excuses for your behavior because you don't feel like since times have changed your behavior is okay like there's nothing wrong with what you're doing bruh i have on a name tag for a reason that's my name don't call me baby like i don't know you from a hole in the wall don't touch me first of all like that's first and foremost don't 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 touch me (laughs) you know what i'm saying don't touch my shoulder don't touch my elbow don't touch my arm if i'm handing you something don't caress my hand don't hold on to my fingers like People are creepy, dog. Like, the shit people do, especially, like, working in customer service, people feel like because you're in a uniform or you at a job that they can do whatever they want, like, try to be coy, and you're supposed to just take it. Some people will just take it. Me, personally, I've told people that they're fucking rude. I've had somebody come into my store on, like, a, like, try to holler, like, on some repetitive shit because he stayed around the corner, and dude was probably, like, in his late 30s or something. I don't know. I don't care. Dude, like no on some like oh man you got some nice lips excuse me son spend your money on going about your business no man wait wait, what are you doing here like okay i got some nice lips what the fuck does that have to do with what you're doing like that's not cool and then he went further than that like on some like real like disgusting tip and i told him i said okay now you're being disrespectful and i'm two seconds away from telling you you're no longer allowed to come in the store because i don't feel comfortable right now He's like, nah, I'm just trying to compliment you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Says some shit like, oh, I want you to lick me like a lollipop. Bitch, what? Yo, when I said beer bumba clock didn't want to come up, I'm going to say, yo, I'm at work. He not going to get this out of me. He not about to draw me out, like, at all. And I think that's what people don't realize, y'all. Like, 
there's people like me that won't get drawn out because nigga i got bills to pay like a lot of y'all niggas ain't paying rent you know what i'm saying and y'all be wow 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 ha key 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 whatever whatever my thing is i know that my store manager would have kicked this nigga out off rip if i just went to him and like yo he would have been like okay he's not allowed to come in the store no more some of y'all work for companies where y'all bosses don't give two fucks about y'all. They don't care as long as this person's coming in the store, p- spending money. They can say whatever the fuck they want to you, and it's okay. Like, <laughs> that shit is toxic. And I can see people getting, like, wild out the mouth because of that. So, I'm thankful that, you know what I'm saying, like, my managers, like, respect my fucking peace of mind and shit like that. Or, like, even the people that they work with, like, certain shit is not okay, and they won't let certain shit fly. But that nigga, like, that ass, like, if this was another time in my life, would have gotten whooped. Like, I would have called some people, like, yo, <laughs> growth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Growth. Like, I was one step away from me, like, I'm calling the police because this is sexual harassment. In case you didn't know what it looked like, this is sexual harassment. And people don't understand that, like, Yes, it's quote unquote just words, but sexual harassment comes in all types of forms. When y'all have them HR meetings at work, when they talk about sexual harassment and things that are acceptable in the workplace, yo, they talk about how y'all talk to each other. At my job, they tell us that customers as well as other employees can be held accountable for sexual harassment. You can't do it to a customer, you can't do it to your coworker. A coworker can't do it to you. A customer can't do it to you. All around the board. They're not playing that shit. Because the last thing they want is a fucking lawsuit. Because guess what? Little old me now comes and says, I don't feel safe at my job. I'm traumatized now. I need to file a lawsuit because so-and-so company did not make it a safe environment for me to work in. I did not feel comfortable working for your company. And now I'm traumatized. I got anxiety built up because every time I come to work, I'm shaking. Like, you know what I'm saying? This could be a whole thing for another person. They make sure that they cover their bases so if anything happens, they're covered. It ain't really about you. I know that. I understand that it ain't really about me. You know what I'm saying? They give a fuck less about me. I'm just one person that could cause them a lawsuit that they don't want to pay out. So they make sure that they cover all their fucking bases and that everything is good and copacetic so that if something happens to one of their employees, they got counselors set up. You can call and talk to a therapist. You could, Yo, I'm here for that type of energy because a lot of places ain't doing it. On the note of mental health and all that stuff, um, I saw that Dalton Harris went back home the other day and there was some foolishness going on about his mom saying how he never came to see her and this, that, and the next. Yo, I'm so big on personal peace. Like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care who it is. It could be your brother, your mother, your sister, your auntie, your daddy, your cousin, your uncle, your granny, your grandfather. If that person is disrupting your personal peace... I don't feel no ways about telling you don't speak to them. I don't feel no ways about you not speaking to them at all. Like, dog, you only get one life, yo. I don't care what nobody says. Yes, respect your elders, respect your parents, respect your mother, your father, whatever, all of that good stuff. But when it comes to a point where you realize that their involvement in your life is toxic it is disrupting your peace it is not bringing you (laughs) my manager says does it bring you joy (laughs) not even in the aspect of just bringing joy but if you are sincerely fucked up because of interacting with these people by all means cut them the fuck off like i don't hold no qualms about that like none whatsoever i don't care who it is i don't feel no way about it but dalton wrote this very lengthy um post and i think this is facebook and i'm gonna read it i don't know if i'm gonna read this whole thing but he said basically when i was nobody and living in a strip oh when i was nobody and was living with strangers no one used to call to ask if i was alive or if i'd eaten but now it stresses you out that i stay away from you and the trauma oh see i didn't even read that right now it stresses you that i stay away from you and the trauma seems a bit opportunistic if i was broke and still nothing like you treated me would I still be such an important thing? This right here is why I stay away, because it's always something negative. You don't get to play with people's hearts and minds. Regardless of your title, I am human, just like you, and just like you, my life is not old. I have a title too. I am a son, and I could have demanded protection and love and care and acceptance from you, but I didn't, even though none of those things were ever showed. So I don't hate you. I just don't want to be around you. Every time things like this prove to me, why I need to stay away and I could give a fuck who wants to judge. Go judge your fucking life before you judge mine because I did this shit by myself so you don't get to come and reap the rewards. Nah, 
I forgave that shit and moved on and far away. What else do you want? Because I have nothing else to give but myself the peace of mind I deserve. And you are fucking with that. Boy, did I just say that shit? <laughs> I just said that shit. There's way more. He went in and told Are you fucking crazy? I have anxiety and depression because of this shit. So judge all you fucking want. My happiness is all that matters to me right now. Now, this is my thing. I don't know if he really wrote this because this is some this is some explicit shit. I was trying to find him on Facebook to see cross reference, but it was probably deleted by then. It was on Dancehall Shade Room. <laughs> I don't know how credible they are, but yeah. All he everything he just said is what I just said. Like peace of mind, yo. Yes, I'm drive past your house and I'm burgling the vehicle, and people call you and say, "Yo, I'm in I burgling the vehicle," and I'm not I'm, I'm drive past you on the side of the road. I'm not stop and say hi. When for do come out I can't come no 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 goody no 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 I'm not here for that I'm not here for that I don't give a fuck if it's your mother if it's your father I really don't care if that person is fucking with you mentally like your mental health is like deteriorating because of them like if you feel like an overwhelming sense of like grief or a burden because of their existence in your life even for a short period of time that they're around you like nah man i'm not telling y'all to go out and just go cut people off but if y'all know what i'm talking about if it's that deep like what are you holding on for because that's your mother because that's your sister because y'all knew each other since y'all was kids (laughs) yo i don't i don't care about any of that shit dog because at the end of the day when you drop down dead Guess who they putting in the box? No, you won. So make sure you won good. Like, fuck somebody else's feelings who don't honestly care about yours. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion. I have a bunch of other topics. Like I said, I wanted, I want twins input on a couple of these. Something that I, in the vein of like mental health and all that stuff, make sure y'all check on y'all friends. The strong ones, the whiny ones, the ones that only come to you when they want something. If they acknowledge their fault and they are trying to work on it or something else, just reach out. Check on them. Make sure they're okay. I'm like one of those people that I'd be quick to say I'm a horrible friend because based on the fact that I am not actively involved in my friends' lives. Like, I don't talk to my friends every day. I don't go see them all the time. I'm one of those people, but I'd be quick to be like, yo, I love you. Are you okay? How was everything? Like, and I've been making an effort lately to make sure I do that. Like, I check on people and be like, yo, is everything all right? Are you good? Like, I'm the type of person, I'll come kick it with you and just, like, sit there and we're not doing shit. That's me. I be in my head for the most part. And I know my friends, they they cool with that shit. My friends have never been the type to be like, oh, we have to go do something. Like, sometimes we be hype and we want to go do things, but... It never been no like, oh, we can't just coexist in the same space and enjoy each other's space. Like, and I'm here for people like that. If you're, I mean, it's based on you and your friends. So if you and your friends like to get lit, get live, whatever, y'all do that. But just check on each other. Send a text message. Give a phone call. Or like, you know, just be like, hey, send a heart, something, just so that they know that somebody out there gives a fuck about them. Because you never know what somebody's going through until they tell you. And sometimes people don't tell you shit, but hearing from someone that you know i love you i miss you i hope you're okay can do so much difference to their day okay so just step outside of yourself for a second and just reach out to somebody else i have a poem this week i want to say congratulations to the wallflower that bloomed she just recently got engaged she's a poet and this poem is called i dreamt of you i'm gonna input it right now so that you guys can hear it um take a listen let me know what you guys think and yeah i dreamt of you last night i didn't dream we woke up together i may have woken up too soon but i dreamt of you i dreamt i drank from you not only after you drank from me but also after you drank from me i dreamt that my juices were the only thing quenching your thirst i saw how my calves clung while my thighs wrapped you tight like the christmas gift you are or almost were I felt how my teeth abused my bottom lip when your neck was too far. I dreamt that like origami you folded me to your liking and yet I saw myself uncontrollably, purposefully, willingly arch serving you all of me. Coming only when you asked me to. Allowing my flesh to be servient but I liked it. I have a control issue. The type where it's necessary to hear you say my name but somehow I dreamt of you last night and my thighs blocked your airways while my toes embraced your locks. My eyes fluttered to match your tongue, all the fluster in me gone. You are a woman and I felt you in my groin. I dreamt of you last night. I didn't dream we woke up together. 
I may have woken up too soon, because the shallow waters that remained were only reminiscent of the ocean we were floating in, the one we created, where the salt is all sugar. I hope you know that I can't swim, so unscrew gently. Thank you for listening to that. If you or anyone you know does poetry, wants to submit anything, send it on over. You can send me the audio like this young lady did. Um, the email is askpointless at gmail.com. It's A-S-K-P-O-I-N-T-L-E-S-S-S at gmail.com. Don't forget to listen, like, share, subscribe to Pointless Talks on all of the social media platforms. We're on all the things. Dutch Olympics is June 29th. If you have not gotten your tickets yet, $15 early bird tickets for women are still available and $20 early bird tickets for men. We also have $60 unlimited rum punch. Now, if you like rum punch, rum punch, and it's $60 unlimited all night, all night, all night, all night. So tell a friend, tell a friend, everybody roll out. There's going to be a dancing contest and all that cash prize. Cash, cash, cash. <laughs> so yeah, um, follow us, listen, like, share. We're on TuneIn, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Facebook, YouTube, Google Play, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, all of those things. If you like us, rate us, give us five stars. Keep on a bad mind feelings them to in a self. And just like every other episode, near or far, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for listening to the Pointless Talks podcast. <laughs>